All right, hi guys, Dr. Sean here. We're back into our mailbag this week. We've got a young lady uh, who's got quite a bit of problems here. She fell in a high school accident, I'm guessing, cheering. Um, back in 2013, she's got back problems and leg problems since. Uh, doesn't sleep well, has trouble sleeping at night, can't rest. They told her pretty much to quit all of her normal activities. No running for exercise purposes, no uh, tumbling or any kind of gymnastics of any kind. Um, initially they had noted that there was a potential for a fractured spine, disc bulges, uh, pinched nerves, the whole shebang, right? And I, I can only imagine that she's probably up in a stunt and fell down out of it. Uh, numbness into the tailbone, and that's going to be a real important key here when we tackle this in a minute. Uh, she was told never to tumble again, of course. She's tried physical therapy, she's tried chiropractic care, she's done orthopedic uh, work and surgery that I'm sure they've mentioned. They've done a lot of different things with her. Nothing's really, really helped. And here she is. It's a couple years later. She's very young. She recently had an EMG study done. Didn't find anything. It's clean. So this is interesting now because they've got x-rays, they've got MRIs, all according to her uh, report here that are saying they're normal. She has an EMG done that doesn't find anything, and she's got all this pain and discomfort, and she can't really get her life back. And when you're a young lady and you have not even hit the fun part of life, uh, to have all this discomfort going on, it's not, it's not good. So we're going to try to help her out and give her some ideas on what we can do and how I would fix this. Now, what's interesting about this, anytime you see something like this, and this is a daily event in our practice, Every day we see something like this. Uh, when you come in, you got to find the cause, and, and that's really what it is. Now, we know it was trauma-induced, so she had some kind of a mechanical trauma that kind of got the ball rolling. But now they've gone in there, and they're looking around, and they're not finding all these problems. They're not finding the, the fracture they thought they might have found. They're not finding the disc bulbs. They're not finding anything that shows that the nerves being impinged in one way or another with the EMG. So you start thinking to yourself, okay, something's not right here. Now, the key to this, and this is something I noticed in her history, she gave me numbness into the tailbone that's probably where you're going to start now what's interesting about the tailbone of the coccyx it's a really cool little uh piece of bone it looks like a guitar pick in a way now the problem with it is that your nervous system your spinal cord likes to anchor it's attached right up underneath the base of the neck and then it floats free all the way down until you get to the tailbone and it reattaches to the front side of that tailbone. Now what's interesting is when you see unresolved health issues, things that just don't ever seem to get any better, they don't go away, the coccyx is one of the first things you look at. You look at that tailbone because if you ding that little guitar pick one way or another, then it's constantly pulling at the spinal cord or at the fibers of the spinal cord. Now what's interesting about this the analogy I like to use is a church bell. You think of like a church bell and that big rope and someone's tugging on that rope and you hear the ding, ding. That's kind of what's happening here. If you're constantly pulling at that nerve at the tailbone when you sit, when you stand, when you lay because of pressure against it, if you're constantly aggravating it, it just keeps firing that and firing it and firing it. And it's almost what we call a, a feedback loop or a um, thing like a closed pin cycle or a safety pin cycle that's not open, it's closed. Sometimes, and you see this in phantom limb issues, sometimes when someone loses a limb, that hand can hurt for months to years later, but it's not even there anymore. But it was such a big trauma to the body that it fired that loop and all of a sudden it's like someone pulled the fire alarm and nobody went back and reset it. And so the fire alarm just keeps being pulled all the time, even though the problem is long gone. So I have a feeling that's what we might be looking at here. So what we would do then is you would examine. You'd find the cause. You'd see if that feedback loop is involved. And the way you do that is you get in there and you start messing around with the muscles. Because the only way you're going to have all this trauma is if the muscles that supported those joints failed. So we know the MMR technique that we do in our practice, that muscle memory reintegration is critical for this. The other thing you're going to notice is that adjusting would be important, but the style becomes very specific. You can't just get in there and randomly roll things around. You won't get anywhere with it. The next thing I would do, then I'd be looking at acupuncture. Acupuncture is absolutely wonderful at resetting that feedback loop. It helps the body to kind of reset that neurologic failure. It's like a dimmer switch that's off. You just got to put a little metal probe in and away it goes. So you can help a lot of things out with this. This is exactly how I plan to tackle this problem. And I'll bet you this young lady will do very, very well.